All right, so guys, we set up that uh, that triangle from the um, from the entangled arm, and really, uh, this note doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter if we got it from the entangled arm or we got it from any other method, right? So there are probably a couple dozen ways that you can uh, get the triangle from the guard, and really, honestly, um, let's go. I'm gonna give you another one. Okay, so maybe he's pushing on my hips. I'm gonna grab his wrists, right? And remember that when I grab wrists, I'm using these two fingers predominantly and I'm holding on right at the junction point between these uh, two epicondyles um, and the wrist. So where it goes, have that little bump there, there's a divot, and then your thumb, and same deal on the hips, this, this side with your pinky, right? So he's doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and get those grips on there, and I'm gonna break his posture down. So now I've got his hands kind of out to the sides, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock my legs, I'm usually going to straighten out my legs and keep them heavy here, right? So they are floating out here, and I want them to be heavy. Oftentimes, well, I'm usually going to bring my hips off the ground, and the reason why I'm doing that is that now he's taking my weight on his thighs, on his hips, so it's going to be harder for him to stand up. So I've got, I get to my grip, right? I might break his posture down. Now I've got those two arms, and hopefully I can maintain them, right? He's going to be fighting. He's going to be trying to pull him back. Um, and you know, this might be something you go for when he's a little bit less sweaty, a little bit less slippery, right? Um, so I straighten my legs so I'm nice and heavy here. I'm going to pivot out, right? I'm going to bring my knee in, and I put it into his bicep. I pivot out to the other, other hip, so I'm all the way on my side here. I bring my, and notice, I'm driving this down. I'm staying heavy on this. He's going to have a much harder time now building his posture up and preventing me from getting this second leg in right, um, and getting into this butterfly guard position. So I get my side so I can bring this leg in, and now I keep tension. So keep in mind, guys, his posture is going to be dependent, on, and the success of this butterfly guard is going to be dependent on my push and my pull being equal, right? So if he tries to come in, I've got my knees to block him. If he tries to go away, I've got my wrists. If um, What I find a lot of times is that you know, people usually, more often than not, they're not pulling in hard enough. And what happens is, like, he will start to pull back, and maybe he, I'm not pushing hard enough either, right? And he's able to get that disconnection. That's what's going to allow him to get off. Not necessarily um, him just pulling his arm back, right? The, the, me keeping my knees in his biceps is what makes this work. So I'm heavy. I'm like I'm doing a butterfly stretch, right? Butterfly guard, butterfly stretch. I'm trying to open up my hips as much as possible, and here I am. Now from here, oftentimes I'll bring my knee to my nose, right? And then I'll load my foot up here. If I miss it, that's perfectly fine, right? If I miss it altogether, I'm going into that triangle anyway. But a lot of times, I have to do this little pit stop at the spider guard. Now when I get into the spider guard, I'm still heavy with this bottom leg. Yes, this works. It totally works, uh, but it's not gonna work for this attack, right? This is still a spider guard, and a lot of times you can totally get into this double spider guard here, right? So I got here. Now I'm just going to point my toe, and because I was pushing so hard with that, right? I'm stretching him out here, right? So basically, he's a slingshot. So I'm here. I point my toes, and I get this. So I lock this up, and the fucker was fast, maybe I wasn't holding another grip, he got rid of that, and he was able to get his arm out. My triangle's gone, guys. I cannot get that triangle anymore. I can try to, but I'm not going to be able to close that space up as much as I need to, and he's going to be able to get his head out much easier now. So from here, when I'm in this triangle position, I'm going to grab my wrist with the cross arm, and I'm gonna, as I pivot, I'm feeding the opposite arm underneath, palm up, and then I'm going to lock on the, onto my shin, palm facing me, right? So from here, I lock back up, and then I finish, right? And when I'm finishing, right, I'm doing the same type of movement here, but I'm also taking this arm, and see that? I'm closing up that space, right? I'm driving that into his side, so I'm closing up this triangle and squeezing onto his neck. I got those wrist grips.
I've been breaking this posture down, I got that. So now, I'm going to hip out, keeping my legs straight and heavy. I'm gonna bring the top knee in, and I'm gonna put it into that bicep, and I'm gonna start getting heavy on it, right? So he's falling to the side there. This allows me to get to the other side, and because I'm heavy, he's not gonna be able to move this as easily. I'm gonna bring this knee in, and I get into that spider, or that uh, butterfly guard position, right? So, this is gonna be a little bit of a battle, and he's gonna probably wear himself out before, and it's gonna be hard for me too, but it's fine. This is actually where really guard starts getting interesting, right? Is when you start playing these open guard positions. So, from here, I pull my knee to my nose, and I put my foot into his bicep, and I really stretch him out, guys. If he gets a bruise on his bicep from this, that's probably you doing it right. He's not gonna get a bruise, but that's kind of what I want you to think about, is that I'm actually driving in there and really stretching him out here so that I can put my toe and he falls in. Now, the crafty fucker, he takes his hand, he escapes it, right? So, this hand is the one that's gonna feed in, palm up. So, I'm gonna reach across and I'm gonna grab my own ankle and as I cut that ankle, angle, I'm gonna reach my other arm through. So there you have it, it's right there. I throw my leg over the top and then I squeeze and there's your uh, no arm in uh, triangle. Really guys, spider guard, butterfly guard, really, really fun. You should actually start uh, thinking about those things.